Welcome back to the kitchen. Lots of bacon right here, two trays of it. I'm gonna show you my favorite way to cook swordfish. We haven't done it in a long time, and it's actually Thanksgiving. We got a turkey, we got a ham, but we need some swordfish bites. So we got a slab of swordfish. We're gonna pre-cook the bacon about halfway. We're gonna pull this out. We're gonna cut this into about ice cube sized chunks. We're gonna wrap the bacon, hit it with some barbecue sauce, and I got a little bit of honey from uh, a buddy of mine. He says it's the best honey around, so we're gonna add it to it. Let's get started. Ooh, it looks yeah, you're right. So we got the skin off it. Now we're gonna cut in pieces like that and that yay big there. We got one whole pack of bacon. So the bacon's cooked about halfway through. 30 pieces of swordfish right here, you know, little cubes. So all we're gonna do is cut this bacon right in half. And after we do that, we're gonna wrap it around the uh, swordfish. We're hitting it with some Traeger Q, just regular barbecue sauce. But that little bit of honey we're gonna add in is gonna make a big difference. And the trick is, you know, you definitely wanna pre-cook the bacon a little bit because if you put it on the grill um, without cooking the bacon a little bit before, the swordfish will really dry out. And dried out swordfish is not that good. It's edible, but you're doing a disservice to the fish. So, piece of swordfish just like that. Take your bacon, go around there. This one went, you know, three quarters away. Little toothpick thing like that, and it's on there. And then we'll barbecue sauce them up right when we put them on the grill. And this bacon is nice and greasy, so we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have ourselves a Thanksgiving feast. So we got the barbecue sauce. But this is the secret ingredient tonight. Special honey from our friends, and not just any honey. This is pure from a different country, and they brought it in there. But this is gonna be a nice honey barbecue there, and just give it good flavor. Should be plenty there. And this is thick. This ain't watered down. Can't get that anywhere else. So let's stir this up here. You can see it gooping together there. Mix it up and let's go throw these on the grill. Hot stuff coming through. We're just gonna baste them once they're on there. And I thought I had 30 pieces of swordfish cut. Turns out I had 29. So we got an extra half a piece of bacon. There we go. Now let's start basting them up. Lots of love there. I'm just gonna roll them over as we do it too. Check back in a few minutes. Me a sandwich today. The ham and cheese, or we got pepperoni and turkey and cheese. Look at that thing. Yep. I just had to eat a sandwich. You should have started eating earlier. No kidding. Let's hope he stays on here. Be the one. So we're out here drifting and dreaming, seeing what happens. Josh won this trip in a raffle up there in Georgia about a year ago. Finally got out now, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'd love to get a swordfish for that little guy. Got a pre ride out here. Uh, you know, first decent day here, a few days, and there's another front coming at night, so I'm glad we're here today while it's still calm. Smart, it's blowing 20 knots again, and 20 to 25 next two days, so we'll see what happens, though. The screen's kind of lit up there in 1530, you know, some baits of life, so let's see what we got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, great. On the board, buddy. Way to go. High five. 
How's it feel? Good. Pretty good? Uh-huh. Where don't you wish your brother was here? So they showed up with a gift. They said that would be good luck. And it appears to be, because we just caught a swordfish. We just dropped back down there. We got another one on right now. So does a banana. You think it was a banana? Uh-huh. It could have been. It could have been both. Could have been the banana, but check this sign out here. Custom made. In Georgia? Georgia, yeah. In Georgia there. That's stainless, that stainless there? Yeah. Awesome. 316 grade. Beautiful. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. So we got another souvenir here to put somewhere. Hope you can see me through there. Appreciate that. Now let's get the swordfish on here. See if it stays. Right there. One is a good day, but two be even better. Right, buddy? Yeah. That's right. He is flying up. Holy moly, he's coming up quick. Flying up there. That tip's light. That means that fish is carrying a 10 pound lead up super fast. He's probably going 30, 40 miles an hour coming up quick with it. You never know. It could be a big giant one. You think it's a big one? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> it's old sun. Could be old sun. Yep. Could be all the sun. Yeah, this one we could be home and pack for lunch. The biggest one on the boat so far, that's for dang sure. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest one you ever caught. Biggest fish of your life, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Biggest I've fish never of the seen. family. There you go. Just no idea how big this fish is. He's coming up quick. You know, it could be a good one. Just start biting though. Two bites in a row real quick. He's trying to get under us. It looks like spin the boat. There we go. All right, good. We're going to see this thing in a second, guys. Oh, yeah. I can see color. Yeah. I see him. He's going under, Nick. We can put away the turkey for Thanksgiving. We got swordfish. We're good on the first one. We're good. Yeah, you can. There you go. Perfect. And just nice fish, guys. Drag him on in. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good one, guys. Good fish. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Yeah, boy. He's a good one, guys. Look at that old bony buttonhole him right through him. Down deep. That deep shot. There you go. Good job, guys. All righty, and we ain't keeping no more today. We're good. What do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. I think it's a swordfish. We're hooked up again. They're turning on and biting here. Nice to see. Current picked up. You know, last weekend was slow for us overall, but uh, no bites first drop, and all of a sudden they started feeding now. Three drops in a row. Boom, boom, boom.
out the paint job. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get got. I was ready playing with him. <laughs> Back to the depths. Straight down. Beautiful. All righty. Wow. Good job, guys. Yeah, man. Way to go, Bob. We got on here. You got my my on? Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, wine fast. Here he comes at you. He's coming at you. Get him, buddy. On the flat line. Let's put a squid out there. Had it out there all day. A mahi just ate it. He was asking about mahi earlier. I said maybe, but doubtful. And we got him on now, though. I think he's just about big enough to get. Him. Just to be safe. So our sword rods are still out, but we want to get this mahi here. More bait. Mahi Mahi. Mahi Mahi. Look at that. Jumper. Just don't want to come close to the boat. That's our 20 pound spinner rod there. Use that for dolphin, tuna, sailfish, kingfish, stuff like that. Just big enough to gaff, you know. Might have been while the swords were hitting good, free frontal. But uh, turn up on 20 now, 20, 22 knots, west, northwest. Eating up the chop though, that's what this thing does. It eats it up. Look at old muscle man over here, unloading them. That was your first mahi? Yeah. Awesome. Hold on up there. I think he was. The moment of truth. Right We're gonna find out. I guess 141. Let's see. 145. Also, keep on going with the more there. That was off by four. Pretty close though. 145.7. We ripped his gill rakers out. <laughs> yeah. That's what made that mess? <laughs> you a nice African pompano? Right here, big boy. The bleeder, huh? Bleeder. Did you catch it? Here we go. This young man right here. Awesome. Nice job. Look how old he is. All the scars. That's a pretty one. Yeah, beautiful. Fish of the day. Like the last fish of the day. That's all you need. <laughs> 
Dang straight. B and M coming in with a big African pompano. Good luck. Are this, is this the brother? Yep. How you doing, buddy? Good. What's your name? Karen. Good to meet you. I'm Nick. Good luck, Karen. All right, go show me the swordfish over there, buddy. This one was a peach, you guys. You know, light, light, light orange. It's not glowing orange, but definitely got color to it. You can see it there. But he is stuffed full. This is that one that had that big old belly. We want to see what he was eating. So let's see what's in here. Follow me over here. A moment of truth. Let's see how many squids are in here. Oh, look at that thing. Look at this one, you guys. Look at that. That's a big squid there. And this is a different type of squid. They might call that a strawberry squid that I heard. We'll see. Oh, that's squid. Nice. Look at that. We could eat them for dinner. And he's got some little fish in here too. There's little tiny fish in there. If you know what type of fish that is, comment below and tell me. I don't know what type it is. A little something though. Oh, I see Look at this. Yeah, look, he's look at this. We got the strawberry squid, you guys. Mike's going to do a catch oh, clean and cook on that thing. Someone's talking about them yesterday, so. Steak, I would say cut that in half, you know? Yeah. Maybe cut it in half this way, then cut it in half again. Yeah, you can probably get two dinners out of it. Enjoy. Yeah, we'll see you around. For Mobile Bay, Alabama, you gotta make a guest appearance. What's your name? Landon. Landon went fishing with Matt and the tan man. Tell him what you caught. I caught a small cobia, um, a bunch of yellowtails, some muttons. An amberjack? We caught a small amberjack, and then my brother caught a huge king mackerel, 30 pounder. 30 pounder, you just heard it, so thanks for watching the videos. Yes, sir. All right, we'll see you guys back at home. The time has come. It's been about six or seven minutes. I mean, look at that right there. If you guys could smell that, you would be in heaven. Everyone's talking about the turkey down there. I guess they want me to carve it. But I said, hang on a second. This is more important than the turkey. We got some bacon wrapped swordfish bites for the appetizer. Hopefully they taste as good as they smell. We got 29 of them, so. Honey barbecue with some bacon wraps. Honey barbecue bacon bites. wrap. That's true. That is a delicacy right there, folks. This looks good. Oh, she's over there with Sadie. Mmm. Really good, Nick. Mm -hmm. it's, it's bacon Somehow I got talked into cutting the turkey. I thought if I cooked the swordfish, I didn't have to carve this thing. <laughs> All right, let's get everyone's opinion on the bacon wrapped swordfish. You must, uh, you must have made these just for us to take home. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh.
Mm. Vic used to wind in all the swordfish. Mm. Now we just push a button most of the time. But he's caught a lot of them, over 200 of them. I eat a lot of them. And he's eating thanks, a lot of them too there. <laughs> and Dave's caught a lot of them too. That's awesome. Yeah. What do you think? Very oh good. Oh my God. Unbelievable. The camera man. Let's see. Look at that. Whoa. Oh no, five second roll. Daniel's a starving boy, he'll eat it. You can see the whites over there, that's the fat bubbling up out of it. So that was a healthy fish. That was a fun day with those guys. Three swords, a couple of nice ones, and uh, Grace in there, he's gonna remember that trip forever. Let's see if I can eat this thing here. Almost just big enough for one bite. Mm -hmm. I might do it in two, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go for two. Very good. Swordfish <laughs> falling apart there. Bacon's cooked up. Oh, have you ever had this before? Nope. Oh, it's my mom's first time trying it. Is this your recipe? Nope. <laughs> I got it from a guy named Steve. He showed me the bacon wrapped swordfish and started doing it. Okay. Mom, what do you think? Would you eat it? I would eat it. Good. Yeah. We got more to eat for everybody. And Tiffany came for the birthday. Good. Mm. good job, Nick. Really good. Oh, thank you. Oh, I might have ruined my shirt. I got the grease. How you doing, Mac? I dropped mine too. We got grease on me. I never even get another one. That's a one. That's true. Ten thousand. Hey, Sadie. Do you want to try a piece of swordfish? Okay. Can you like it? Hey, what you think? You like it? Very good. Alrighty. Oh, let's see if Sadie leaves her. It's the best way to uh, have it. Look at you. That's right. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. 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 How is it, Sadie? Do you like the marshmallows? Did you try the swordfish yet? Can we take one bite? Yeah, yeah. Take one bite. Keep it right now. Okay, okay, okay. Leonard? <laughs> If you guys wondered if everybody liked the swordfish, it's gone. But you guys are late to the party, you don't get any swordfish. Scott, did you teach me how to fish? No, I tried, but you just couldn't learn it. Will you tell everybody Happy Thanksgiving? No, you tell them. Will you tell them to smash the like button? No, you tell them. Tell them to smash the like button. You tell them. Okay. Alrighty, that's all we got for you guys. We're enjoying Thanksgiving dinner. Try the bacon wrap barbecue uh, swordfish bites, you'll love it. And uh, come on down here to Alamorada, go fishing at Bud Murray's, stay there, just stop by and say hey. Sadie, tell them bye. Hi. Oh, Eva wants to make a debut. There's my dad. Go back for seconds. You want some more of that? Do you like that? Yeah. This is good. I made that for you. Well, it has to be good if he made it. I made that just for you. <laughs>